This film is not uh, a remake of Bangalore Days. Ah. Jungle Maria Aram Kadi Kinnata Manda. Imagine making a Hindi movie about three cousins. One is a soft-spoken software engineer. One is a professional bike racer. And the girl is destined to get married to someone she barely knows. And stating that it isn't a remake, it's just loosely inspired. You sit on a throne of lies. Imagine you make the software engineer fall head over heels for an air hostess. The girl finds it tough to connect with the husband for long periods of time and make the biker boy instantly gravitate towards a person on a wheelchair. It's still loosely inspired, not at all a remake. Hey, ye mazak ho raha hai ek second yaar mazak ho raha hai. Imagine you make the biker boy have severe daddy issues and the big reveal is to happen in the marriage which in turn explores the past of her husband and it's still loosely inspired and not a direct remake. Abe saale it is absolutely a offensive that the actors sit in interviews and state that their treatment of the film is only loosely inspired by Bangalore days while they take the entire skeleton of the film and make a mockery out of it but i have to give them some credit right they snatch the heart out of bangalore days and provide us a long running catalog of t series music and compensate for the lack of ability of the actors in the frame by drowning their dialogues with one remake song after the other you know you should give them credit for the makers at least go on a different path than bangalore days in that it absolutely ignore some of the most cherished features the beautiful description of home in the form of kerala how it brought character to the city of bangalore how it especially shed light on the family dynamics specifically the bond between nivin and his mother and how it actually provided a mature portrayal of a marriage that takes its own time of understanding between two people who come with their own past history and traumas it lets go of its heart and presents a swiping real like format incorporating the acting pitch of t series music music videos and daily soaps where the film actually works in a 5 is to 1 ratio for every 5 dialogues there is a song because it assumes two things the audience doesn't have the bandwidth to watch a film and two it can't deal with the stiff acting performances so you might as well blare it with incessant remake music For all of you who have seen the channel over the years, you know my introduction to Malayalam cinema was through Prithvi Raj and his movies like Mumbai Police and Memories. As I further explored the films from the state, I instantly became a fan of Dulkar and Nivin Pauly because of Bangalore Days and the relationship of watching their films has become a constant ever since. If you ask anyone about Bangalore Days, there is a special place in their heart for this film, for the unbridled depiction of young adults of navigating through love and heartbreak of what you can consider to be fan and making those mistakes and bouncing back every time please do write down in the comments below why you fell in love with bangalore days as well and when i see the creators of yar yar 2 who make a film which is in no question an absolute rip off of bangalore days just set in mumbai this time it totally breaks my heart on how such an organically fun and emotionally rich film can become so hollow The changes made in Yar Yar 2 are actually its weakest quality. You've got Divya Khosla Kumar whose acting performances should be analyzed by the Oscar jury because it seems to be in the same mode as her portrayal in Satyamev Jayate 2. She has either absolutely monotone in her delivery or blank in her expressions. It actually sounds like it's a genuine struggle for her to deliver dialogues, almost as if each syllable is finding it tough to actually be extracted out of that mouth. She has this almost in a daze like expression like most of her t- series music videos and it lends no depth to her character this depiction aside mizan jafri's character falls in love with a girl who is suicidal and is yearning for her ex boyfriend who died this is the tiktok like juvenile things this bollywood remake resorts to where characters hurting only resort to suicide answara rajan playing the role of a girl bound in a wheelchair plays this with such blank expressions it only makes you reminisce about what parvati so beautifully did in the original film she had a personality a vibe Vibrant RJ, who was full of life and did not make her impediments a crutch for herself. But the bichara like Devdas tone the Hindi film takes is just like a dramatic TikTok rather than a feature film drama which the makers assumed. The most heartbreaking for me is that Pearl V. Puri's character, the straight edge software engineer, almost comes across as a dimwit, and this takes away from the lovable and sweet but practical portrayal of Nivin Pauly. I will never forget the scene where Dulkar Salman apologizes to Nivin. 
and he says sorry and Niven replies you're welcome Earl and his relationship with the air hostess is depicted in such quick succession where you cannot even empathize or understand why he would gravitate or be hell bent on marrying the woman beyond her just being attractive the beats of betrayal and heartbreak are so comical in this film that you end up only laughing at their poor attempt the worst however in this entire long running instagram reel of a film has to be yash das gupta who plays the distant husband never being warm to his new wife contrary to fahad fasil's nuanced portrayal yash is absolutely blank dismissive distant and so monotone in his expressions and body language you consider him to be heartless versus a person struggling from within but trying his best nonetheless there was never a point where you generated dislike for fahad even through the several arguments that he has with nazreya as you always assumed he was struggling with something that he just fails to communicate with his new wife yash on the other hand comes across as a heartless wax statue the turncoat and big reveal in the hindi film generates nothing from you the lack of chemistry between divya and yash is alarming and even a union between them is not something that you really root for from within Divya almost comes across as a privileged bimbet in the film, wanting to just spend her husband's money and open her wedding gifts from home. Nazreya on the other hand is someone you instantly love for the relationship she develops with the society members, for the unfair treatment she communicates openly to her husband. You understand and empathize with her frustration whereas with Divya and her marriage you don't care about either. The only actor who I can give some credit to in Yarya 2 is Murli Sharma who plays a father still mourning and the the veteran does hit the emotional beats with great conviction you know what's the saddest however yarya 2 and the city it is set in is devoid of any character a city like mumbai and its unique qualities have been depicted so well in other films and while yarya 2 pretends to have a commentary on the city versus how out of place the characters feel it lacks any form of depth versus bangalore days where the backdrop was a character in itself and the nostalgia and simplicity of home is even more effective the family dynamic and the sense of home is absolutely missing in yarya 2 making it as i said one long melodramatic instagram reel versus actually having heart it's okay to make a poor remake but to deny the source material and dismiss this film as only loosely inspired from bangalore days is absolutely criminal It's a carbon copy of the film with changes that actually make it worse. You can watch Bangalore Days on Disney Plus Hotstar.